Dad, didn't they invent Christmas tree lots so people wouldn't have to drive all the way out to nowhere and waste a whole Saturday? They invented them, Russ, because people forgot how to have a fun, old-fashioned family Christmas and are satisfied with scrawny, dead, overpriced trees that have no special meaning. <sighs> my toes are numb. You see, kids, this is what our forefathers did. I can't feel my leg. They walked out into the woods, they picked out that special tree, and they cut it down with their bare hands. Mom, I can't feel my hips. Clark. Yes, honey? Audrey's frozen from the waist down. Oh, that's all part of the experience, honey. There it is. Griswold family Christmas tree. Isn't it a little big? It's not big, it's just full. Dad, that thing wouldn't fit in our yard. Not going in our yard, Russ. It's going in our living room. <sighs> Look at it. It really is beautiful, Clark. Something else, huh, Russ? Yeah, Dad. Isn't it beaut, Audrey? She'll see it later, honey. Her eyes are frozen. Most enduring traditions of the season are best enjoyed in the warm embrace of kith and kin. <laughs> the three are the symbol of the spirit of the Grithwald family Christmas. Dad, did you bring a saw? Looks like the toad overestimated the height of his living room ceiling. <laughs> hey, Griswold. Where do you think you're going to put a tree that big? Bend over and I'll show you. You've got a lot of nerve talking to me like that, Griswold. I wasn't talking to you. Do you think there's enough room for the angel? Oh, sure, honey. I have a little more trimming to do, but that won't be a problem. Ready? I give you the Griswold family Christmas tree. A lot of sap in here. Mm. It looks great. A little full, a lot of sap. <laughs> 